Hey everyone, so as you guys can see from the title, we're gonna do the couples one, two, three tag. Yep. <laughs> one, two, three. I'm an, He's I'm, doing that on purpose. I don't smoke. So, I have the questions here on my phone. I was tagged by a few people. Uh, most recent, I can't remember everybody, but um, most recently it was Missy Lynn and It's My Ray Ray. Thank you for tagging us. Thank you. We basically have to ask each other the same question and answer it in counting one, two, three. So I'll ask, I'll ask both of us a question, count one, two, three, and we both have to answer at the same time. But to be clear with you, we're not competing against each other. We have to answer what we both think is right and what the other person would say because okay. we have the point of the game is to for both of us to answer the same thing and to see how well we know each other i have the questions on my phone so we're just gonna jump right in question number one if your boyfriend girlfriend husband or wife could be married to a movie star who would it be one two wait three. wait wait wait! don't answer it <laughs> i didn't really think of it all right one Two, two, three, three. The lead nobody. Of <laughs> that is Aventura. such a lie. I don't Aventura. even like him. Aventura. I don't like him. I never liked him. He's doing that to make fun of me. Just saying, I met the dude and he can't marry her. She's married already. It's nobody. I haven't had a it's crush on anybody in a long time. The last person I had a crush on, celebrity wise, was, was Justin Timberlake. No, it was Justin Timberlake, and I haven't had a crush on any celebrity or anyone ever since it's I met him because I can't. I, it's Justin ridiculous. Timberlake I can't have a was the anybody. obvious one. He's saying that because I don't like him. I already know who she's gonna say. So for you, one, one, two, two, one, three. two, three, four. Come on! I'm supposed to do it. It's mine. You did it on yours. Fine. Uno, dos, tres. Jennifer Connelly. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say it because it's the only girl you freaking mentioned. No, ever. I wasn't even going to say that. I was going to say Rosalind Sanchez. Whoa, where did that come from? That came from left field. This is going bad. We're not even getting the answers right. That does, just because we're not getting them right doesn't mean anything. We, I, we had those in mind. Number two. If your boyfriend, husband, or wife, girlfriend, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, could be a celebrity, who would it be? If I can be someone else? Yeah, if you were to be a celebrity, someone else. Oh, who I would want to be. Yeah, who you would want to be. Alright. You got it in your head? You thinking about yourself? Uh, I'm thinking about you right now. Oh, okay, this is easy. Okay, I have an answer. Hold on. You're doing me first, alright. One, two, three. Aaliyah. Marilyn Monroe. Okay, that, you know what, that's true. That's true. Oh, but I was wrong. I was okay. about to bite my head off just now. No, no, that's true. He's right. Give me a second to think. You already thought about it. All right. Good. You think so much. One. Hey, two. I, I count. Un, do, trois. Bruce Nobody. Leroy. <laughs> Bruce Leroy. Who's Bruce that? Bruce Leroy, the the last dragon. Who is that? You guys know who Bruce, Bruce Lee is. Oh, I know now. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I said nobody because he's not really someone who would like talk about celebrities or idolize anybody. He doesn't really idolize people, um, especially celebrities. So that's why I said nobody. So well, Except Bruce Lee, were, of course. <laughs> when you got the glow, go to glow. Number three. You've gone to 7-Eleven to get milk and decide to buy your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband or wife I'm gonna keep saying husband or wife. Um, a treat. What did you buy? What did I buy? Yeah, I buy I buy by you something and you buy me something <laughs> in 7-Eleven. <laughs> One, One, two, two three. three. Nothing. We don't, we don't shop at 7-Eleven. Uh, I've never even been inside that store. I think I've been there once. No, I've been up when I was brother. younger. I used to get Slurpees from there like crazy. <laughs> I I've never been. We don't have that. Um, and where I grew up, where well, I grew up, we, yeah. we didn't have that. So um. Yeah, she's right. In Dominican Republic, they didn't have 7-Eleven. They had uh, Calle El Chico. I didn't even <laughs> grow up in Dominican Republic. <laughs> Number four. What percentage of housework would you say your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife say they do? 
How much would you say? First? How much would you say I do? Percentage? Yes. And how much? Actually, let's do you first. Let's do why? Go women let's first. Do. Women first. <laughs> All right, let's do. Yeah, she tried I'll to. do me. She tried to switch it up now because she wants it to base it off of my answer. No, no, it's okay. I okay. take it back. Let's do me. Let's go. One, One two, two, three, forty percent. Oh snap! What? That's good. <laughs> that was great. I, I said forty because he does he does a lot of cooking and he cleans up the living room a lot and sometimes he cleans the kitchen but I do the laundry, I always clean the bathroom um, I always do the dishes, um, I always clean the stove um, I always, I, sw I sweep sometimes, sometimes That's 49% I do the bed and I clean the room That's, that's, <laughs> but that's he 40% could. that no, no, she's talking about No, no, but he does a lot because she he said, does food shopping as well She said three things for me and then gave herself a whole list of things and said yeah, but I'm because gonna do 40% one, I two. count, thank you. You guys ready? One, two, three. What was the question again? 49%. You didn't even <laughs> say three. You just went through all that. Okay, one, two, three. 49%. 60%. <laughs> What it is, 51%, is that when she's home, she's home more than I am. So she cleans when she's home. When I'm home, I try to do as much to catch up to what she Which did. Which I appreciate. But so that's why I said 40. I should get like extra credit because I carry compost to Union Square every other day. I put away the compost. I have to remind her to put compost Not in the compost. Not anymore. In the compost because she throws Not it all over anymore. the place. Sometimes she eats compost. Like, it gets bad. I throw away the trash. I do everything in this house. I threw out the trash today. Number five. If your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband or wife could choose one thing for you to get rid of, what would it be? I think I'm she should go think. twice over here. Can she get two chains? Because I have more than one thing that I want. Wow. Okay. You're doing me first. One, two, three. Beanies. Her pillowcase. Her pillowcases. <laughs> That's true. I, I use satin pillowcases on the, on the bed, you. and he doesn't like Let it, but it's good for your hair. I'm you. trying to tell him it's good Let for your hair. Let me explain this. She uses the satin pillowcases, but somehow I wake up on top of the satin pillowcases. Because he's not, he, is I'm not, a light, I, I sleep in one spot, I go to sleep in that spot, and I stay in that spot. He moves around the bed, he snores, he does everything around the bed, so he takes, no, he takes everything on the I, bed and puts I, it on himself. The reason I move, it's not my fault. I move on the bed is because when I lay on the satin pillow, I slide off of it onto <laughs> the other side of the bed. If ever I had heat damage, it's gone, because I sleep on her freaking satin pillows. It's not it's a annoying. cure for heat damage. A little TMI will be my answer. Alright, if, if you feel embarrassed, then I'll just edit it out. Oh, I already know what this is. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Got this. I am scared. One, One two, two, three. three. My under the, old the underwear. underwear. <laughs> <laughs> My old underwear. I was gonna say underwear for <laughs> holes. Yeah. Most of his underwear is free from his photo shoot, so he keeps them and then they, they're very thin mm -hmm. and they get holes in them and then he keeps them and <laughs> he just wears them. <laughs> I have, what I do is I don't throw away underwear because underwear, it's not hard to come by. I always get a lot of underwear for free, but I get so much that it doesn't expire. Like I'll wear this pair of once and then you won't see me wear it again for like another year, you know? So no. I feel like it's okay. He has his favorites. And she's like, babe, what kind of underwear are you going to wear for our wedding night? I'm like, the same ones I met you in. <laughs> she's like, you have those? I'm like, yeah. He was going to wear Abercrombie & Fitch underwears from seven, six years ago. And I think that's sweet. I mean, I, I held on to the underwear that I met her in. I held on to the sweater, which is different. Okay, we'll throw, I'm not asking you to throw away your sweater, we'll throw away my underwear. It's underwear. Number six. What is your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife most repeated sentence or phrase? I have a lot. Dude, you have so many too. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna think about this one. One, two, two three. three. Oh but, my um, god. <laughs> oh my god. I say but um a lot more than oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I can't believe you said, oh my god. Okay, that's true. That's true. But I also say, but um, but um, but um. Sometimes she mixes it. Oh my god, but um, but um, oh my god. There's an episode on How I Met Your Mother how they started a drinking game with Robin because she keeps saying but um, so they did a drinking game for how many times she says but um. It's a really funny show, you guys should see it. <laughs> for you, man, you have so many. Do I? One, two, two three. three. Oh, oh, snap. snap. <laughs> you guys watch the regular show? They have like a song. You can YouTube it, the regular show. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Ah oh, snap, come to our macaroni party, then we'll take a nap. Ah oh, snap, ah oh, snap, come to our macaroni party, then we'll take a nap. Number seven, what is your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife's most used cuss word? One, two, two three, three, three nothing. Do not use foul language. I can't remember the last time I cursed. I, am. I think the most I've said is crap. That's not a curse. That's a dirty word, actually. Crap. Is it? Yeah. Because it's poop. Oh snap. But it's not used in the sense of poop. Oh snap. Uh, it can be uh, used as a bad word in some cases. You know. No, it can't. Yeah, it could. Number eight. What is your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife ultimate favorite movie? This is hard because it's <laughs> ultimate favorite movie. <laughs> ultimate. Not hard. So, okay, so let me. I'm thinking out loud here. I'm thinking out loud. He has a favorite movie from his childhood, and there's also a favorite movie from his adult life, but it might not be his ult ultimate favorite. Okay, so I got it. I got it. I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, for me, my favorite movie. Don't say something stupid. Because <laughs> no. I don't think you know it's my favorite movie. I don't, I don't think you know that this is my oh, ultimate favorite Oh, I know your favorite, favorite movie. You're gonna say something stupid. I know your favorite movie. He's that's gonna say gonna something that's not even my favorite movie. Listen, I didn't. All I'm gonna say is that it's not coming out of thin air. She, she, she uh, expressed that to me. One, two, two. three. What in dreams may come? In the mix. <laughs> it's not in the mix. It's what dreams may come or Sex in the City. And I've she never gets real said. Scared okay, so part. when have I said that's when, my favorite movie? That part when they're in the club and they're dancing and they start shooting, she gets like all happy. Look at and that. Scared you remembered it, and I don't time. even remember that. She's like, oh no, oh no, Usher, don't watch out, Usher. Oh no, oh, okay. I'm I've safe. never liked Usher. You have to tell them that you're joking. I will when I'm joking. He's I'll really joking, and he, he likes joke. to joke with a serious face. All right. For him. One, One, two, three. three. Labyrinth. Legend. Okay. Legend. But Labyrinth is one of your favorites too. Labyrinth is a great movie. Yes. Legend, uh, starring Tom Cruise. It's a great movie too. Legend is one of his favorites, so it's hard because those are those are his favorite childhood movies, and he still likes them now. So he's a geek. Number nine. A meteor just hit. You've saved everything important. What would your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife? Go back to get one, two. Whoa, did I even say I was ready? Okay, are you ready? <laughs> wow. One, one two, two, three. three. Photo satin albums. Pillow cases. For satin pillowcases that I slide off of, she would go back to get them just to make sure. If, say we were gonna go stay in a hotel, she would put them on the pillow that I'm going to sleep on. Those uh, shiny silk pillowcases that you know I can't sleep without. I wouldn't go back to get that. He's joking. Um. um I would go back to get maybe our photo albums because I grew up with not that many photos of my childhood. I don't really have that many. Um, so I wouldn't, I would want to get my son's pictures and our pictures as a couple, you know, so that I have saved in a photo album. One, One two, two, three. three water two, filter. Sir. Water filter is important. Because Actually, I would have gotten yes, water Yes, because how are we going to drink water? Ten. Number 10. The saying opposite to track is true, but me and my husband or wife, boyfriend or girlfriend, are opposites at. This is easy for me. One thing, you can pick one thing we're opposites at. Mm -hmm. In your head, in, from the top of your head. Yep. One, one, two, three, three. I'm a, a lot of things. She's popular. She's always misses popularity, and me, I've always been a geek. I've always grown up in, in school. I've always chilled with the, the nerds. I was one of those kids that used to take lunch in the library with like. He used to play with Pokemon <laughs> cards. All my kids, all my. UGO. Yu-Gi-Oh. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Anyways. All my friends were from like different countries. <laughs> yeah, my, the, my lunch break was with the United Nations. She's just always cool. 
She was just always cool. Well, everyone, oh my god, it's her. I don't know. She's so cool. She's so nice. There's nothing wrong with her. Yeah. And then there's me. Always geek. I was gonna say a lot of things because we, like, as a relationship, we're opposites at a lot of things, but not everything. We're, we have a lot in common. We, we make up for what the other lacks. So yeah. That's what makes us opposites. But, uh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Okay, so that was the last question. Wasn't that fun? It was so fun. Now we have to tag some people, some YouTube friends. I'm going to tag Sophia, Fashionista804. Tag her it. Promise, dope111, something like that. Promise Bond, fan. Tag her it. Tag Michelle and Barack Obama. Tag her it. <laughs> That's heart. Dagger it. I also tagged Jessica Lee 422. Dagger it. I don't know a lot of people in relationships. I liked what Eric said. That's it's my Rary's husband. About it being everything being about love, that's what it is. We're being happy. Everyone be together, be happy. If you're single, that's good because you're waiting for that guy. If you're waiting for that guy who's waiting for you, alright? So don't be sad. He's waiting for you. Be happy that he's waiting for you. Just like you're waiting for him. Just don't look. Wait, but don't look. Yep. If I think of more people than the ones I already mentioned, I'll put it in the description box below. So check them out. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.